Earlier this year, Ken from Ken's Custom Iron passed away. A tragic loss for his friends and family, and a loss for the blacksmithing community in general. However, they're keeping Ken's Custom Iron running. His legacy will live on. And Mary Lou from Ken's Custom Iron reached out and asked if I would like some of their tool organizers to put in the little hand tool shop as we improve it. She sent three boxes. I don't know what's in these yet. Two of them are really heavy. This one, not so much. We're going to open these up and see if we can get some organization, have a place to store tools as we finish equipping this little shop. Today's video is sponsored by Ken's Custom Iron. Looks like they sent some pretty cool stuff. I've been eyeballing these on their website for quite some time, but I didn't have any place to put them over in the main shop, so I'm really glad to have them over in this little shop so I can give them a try. This is a tool rack. It holds hammers, it holds tongs, and it's got two pieces that you can spread however far apart you want, and you cut bars to fit in between them. They actually sent some bars for a standard spacing, so unless I want something bigger, this will work out just fine. They also sent a smaller version of the rack, and I think it's going to fit under the end of this bench. And this is particularly cool because when I got this bench installed, I was about to build a rack for it. I just hadn't got around to it yet. Then I got the call that they wanted me to try some of this stuff out. There is a blacksmith's helper kit, a grinder organizer, and a hand tool organizer. There's also a hammer organizer a disc organizer, and a tool organizer. Naturally, my framing members are not in the exact right spot. This needs to be mounted to something solid, so I'm going to have to add some filler strips to this and then figure out exactly where it's going to mount. But distance-wise, using the bars that are included, this will be a perfect fit between this post and the vise. So I'm going to go ahead and use the bars that they sent. I think the bars are optional. You don't have to buy the bars. You can just cut your own.
I'm going to leave this just a little bit loose till I get all the bars slid in to make sure things line up. Also make sure you've left room on the end so you get the bars in. You may have to put them in before you install the bracket. Now I suppose if you're worried about these bars sliding out, you could drill them and put a rivet or a roll pin in to hold it in place, or maybe even tack weld it. But I think the weight of the tools and gravity will hold them in just fine. I didn't have good access to mount the board that this piece is going to mount to, so I'm going to add an extra bolt hole to go right in the post. I suppose two bolts in the post would have been more than enough, and I wouldn't have even needed that board. One of the top slots is not accessible with this installed, so I'm going to cut that bar to length and make sure I install it at the same time I'm putting the bracket in. little stack of washers on the back of this gives me the same spacing as my bolt heads on the bracket that's holding the board. Now I knew putting this smaller rack under the edge of the bench was going to limit its functionality some. For instance, you can't put tongs in that back rack, they just don't fit. But you can put tongs in the front rack, although I doubt that I'll store tongs over here. I'll put them over there with the other rack. But this would be a great place for pliers. Maybe the front rack will even store vice grips. I think there's lots of possibilities. You don't just have to use these racks for hammers and tongs. If your hardy tools have a wide enough base, they would sit on this top rack. 
And if they're going to fall through, you might be able to shim this in a little bit with something, add some sort of a spacer, if you're going to put hardy tools on there. Okay, somebody give me a hand getting up. Now, I was a little concerned about putting a rack right here at the front edge of this bench. I thought my knees might bang up against it when I'm working at the bench. But even standing, oh, six or eight inches away from the back wall of the shop, and I'll never work like this, my knees aren't banging into those hammers. Most of the actual bench work will take place on the wider side of the bench. This is just a little narrow extension that I thought looked too handy to leave out. Now my intent was to set up all the options that Ken's Custom Iron sent out for me to look at, but there's just so much stuff and this was a lot more fiddly to put up than I thought it was going to be just because my shop does not have solid walls or regular stud spacing, anything like that. You got regular framing or block wall you can drill into and put in anchors, plywood walls, whatever the case is that you can just bolt these to the walls. This would go really quick. This thing under the bench was especially weird to put up because everything had to be kind of shoehorned in and there was no standard installation to be done there. So I think this video is probably going to be long enough and I will look at these other things in another video. Maybe in a couple of days we'll do a video on the angle grinder holder and the tool organizer and the disc organizer and the hammer organizer and the little hand tool organizer. I've actually got some punches and chisels from Ken's that will fit in this just fine and they can live over here in this little shop. Then I think the work stand will be its own video. I envision doing a little bit more to this than you probably need to. I think I'm going to forge some bevels in this, maybe do a little chisel work on it, just to dress it up a little bit and make it a little bit more special. But it looks like it'll be a good practical stand. And even doing the extra work on it, I suspect it'll be pretty easy to assemble. I want to thank Ken's Custom Iron for helping make these videos possible and for sponsoring this video in particular. It's really appreciated, just like I appreciate each and every one of you watching the videos out there. I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, maybe just get organized, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.